guys, guess it's what? It's the best. Oh, sorry, Judge, you go. No, no, you tell him. Oh, no, no, why don't neither of you tell us and let us just get on with our night? <laughs> Bird's nephew, Xavier, and some of his classmates are here to do research for a social studies project. Don't you think it's a huge mistake bringing children I mean, to the court and to Earth in general? This is our chance to inspire the next generation of judges and lawyers. Like when my dad came for career day, he did a presentation and mixed in some magic. He brought the house down, made the book fair look like total trash. <laughs> I think giving back is a wonderful idea. Just picturing the wide-eyed look on the faces of the prospective employers when they see the word mentor on my resume. <laughs> That's why I do this. I'm just excited to get to spend some quality time with Xavier. He used to really look up to me, but ever since he started sprouting that little baby mustache, he's been distant. He hasn't come to my Sunday bun day in a while. It's when we put things that normally wouldn't go on a bun on a bun. Lasagna, soup, ice cream, pie. Oh, Jello? What are you, crazy? Uh, I don't know adults had cafeterias. Don't look, but I think that's our lunch lady. Right, that's our cute girls. Welcome, Justice Buddies. There's one thing I know about this generation is they love a banner. We are so excited you're here, and we want you to learn as much as you can. So each of you will be paired with one of our legal professionals. Max, you're going to be with Neil. Our prosecutor, Olivia, is going to take Claire. And Xavier, you're going to be with Gergs. Because he's always been my little buddy. This is us back in the day. <laughs> Look, we have our matching uniforms. <laughs> That's a deep fake. And Carlos, you're going to be with Dan, our public defender. Mr. Fielding, would you like to meet your justice buddy? I reject the premise that I have a justice buddy. <laughs> Mr. Fielding, it'd be my honor to watch you work. Continue. What you do as a public defender is so noble, and may I say, sir, you were one of the true heroes. <sighs> Not a hero. I'm just a man who constantly does heroic things. <laughs> this one will make a fine assistant. Two steps behind me, no eye contact. 